Hey everybody, this is MG Vids bringing you another app review. Uh, this time we're talking about Horde of Heroes. Uh, like you can see, Horde of Heroes is RPG style, takes you back to that 8 bit uh, genre back with the original Nintendo. And when you start the game, you get to pick a character, you advance through each level, and it's got a. Uh, the gameplay concept is a lot like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, that style, where I'm matching up color bricks. So. You see, I'll go into this stage to fight. Now, instead of Dungeons and Dragons, um, where the gems are for different characters, here you can see I've got I'm fighting a beaver. I have 20 moves to beat it. Matching the blocks up does different things. So purple, for instance, is magic, right? Red is melee that will let me fight with any any item I have. You see the blue shield? That's defense. Uh, additionally, I have bombs that I can match up. Those orange tiles, and I have. That light blue there is, is healing. Now, the other thing that's kind of different about this RPG style is you can see the beaver has this red meter. When it fills up, he attacks me back. So where other games might count down and say, hey, so many moves till the enemy attacks, here there's just a timer. So you're under some duress to make a decision on what you want to do next. Uh, so that's an interesting tweak uh, to this kind of block matching RPG style where you're you know, upgrading your character. You do have uh, the ability to earn experience points that you can then apply to improve your character's stats. You can find gear along the way that you also equip to your character to improve his ability to fight. And then you, eventually along the way you'll also be able to make larger teams. Uh, you know, see right now I'm just, just an individual. So this game just recently came out. It is available for download free in the App Store. Uh, and the whole point of it is to work through uh, the various levels. You see, I failed. I didn't beat him in 20 moves. Uh, a beaver. <laughs> but the whole point is to, to help help the king basically clear out the land of the issues. You're the hero, uh, and so you know, graphics and sound it takes me a lot. It takes me back to uh, definitely 8-bit, which I think is it's kind of neat. It's a flashback. Um, at the same time, the controls. It's got a really good tutorial, so it does a really good job of explaining, hey, how do I level up my character? How do I attach different equipment that I find to him, etc.? So I thought that was really well also. Uh, the replay, this is one where I'm, I'm st stuck on right now. You know, it's a neat concept, but I don't know if I'm going to keep playing this or if I if I like, you know, something like a Spirit Stones or, or a Dun uh, Puzzles and Dragons instead. Because uh, those are also tile matching games, so I haven't really decided in my mind right now. So for that reason, I'm just going to give it a thumbs down on, on the replay piece. But then, lastly, money—the fact that it's free for download makes it interesting. If you like the RPG type game, if you want to fight not only other animals, dragons, beavers, etc., <laughs> uh, this is—you're going to find this interesting. Um, but again, for me, I just don't know if I'm sold on it because. You know, Puzzles and Dragons was really good. I really like Spirit Stones, um, and the graphics in both of those games is slightly better than this. Not that that's the biggest hindrance, but uh, those games were just really well done. So, this is MG Vids wanting to talk uh, Horde of Heroes with you. It's made by Everplay, just recently came out. So, if you're an RPG style person, go ahead and take a look, uh, and hopefully this is helpful, and we'll see you again in another review. Thanks.